Prior to last week, the last time the Picayune football team lost a game, I had not even started my first day here at WXXV, September of 2021. But the state championship three-peat mission hasn't changed for the Maroon Tide on the road this week at D'Iraville. WXXV News 25 Sports Director Jeff Hager joins us live from Exit 46 to preview tonight's matchup between the Tide and Warriors. How's it going, Jeff? That's right, I'm here at D'Iberville High School where it's the defending two-time state champion Picayune Maroon Tide coming to town for a big game here. Now, if you remember prior to last week, the last time Picayune lost was to D'Iberville, but a lot has changed since then. Obviously, two state championships for these guys here, the Maroon Tide. Now, joining me live here is head coach Cody Stogner, something that hasn't happened obviously in a long time. You guys taking a really tough loss last week, so uh, in those moments with your team, I mean, what are you telling them, you know, in a game that was obviously right there? you know toss of a coin you know what what are some of those teaching moments that you use going forward for the rest of the season well i mean you know one thing we had to point out was how hard we played to the very end of the game we you know we had to go into overtime and that was probably the way our guys fought back we we, we got we put ourselves behind the eight ball early in the game and had to fight through a lot of adversity but they fought their way back got gave us a chance to win the fourth quarter uh we just didn't make it play there at the end of the game to uh, seal the deal but you know one thing we preached about every time we you know when our head hits the pillow after friday night our record goes back to oh and oh uh, you know, a lot of people want to harp on the, the, the winning streak and this and that, but we were always like taking it week by week, and, uh, you know, we're going into every week as we're 0-0. Oh, oh. Now, as a coach, is it a little easier to coach after a loss? I mean, how good were the practices this week? Oh, we had a great practice. We, we, you know, we, have, we always preach we want to have the best Monday of the year no matter what happens on Friday night, so we've had a great week of preparation. I think, you know, a little bit of the, the weather kind of helped out with that too, but, you know, there's, I mean, no, you you go in every week, just I'm sure everybody's prepares to, to, to try to put forth their best effort on the field on Friday night. So there's no pressure. I mean, the pressure to me is just to make sure we show up on time and be ready to play football. Very uh, quickly, anything on the Iberville on film that you see that you guys uh, like and something you guys are going to have to contain? Well, just tremendous respect for Coach Ladder and the program for doing what they do. I mean, they play, you know, the Iberville football is what you see, and it's, it's a lot of tradition here and uh, there's a lot of stuff I can remember as a kid coming over here to play even from junior high and high school. So. Uh, you expect to see a really hard-nosed football game, you know, something that, you know, gets lost in the mix of things with all these spread stuff. But you're going to see two teams really, really getting after it and, and that can block well and tackle well. Absolutely. Well, appreciate your time. Good luck tonight. We have uh, plenty of highlights coming up on the Friday night uh, News 25 Friday night showcase at 10 o'clock on NBC. Please tune in. Myself, Ansley Brent, will be there. But for now, reporting live from D'Iberville, back to you guys.